How you doing everybody? Welcome back to Staying Folks for Jesus. Oh, you see it. Army and the army of the Lord. I got my throwback um, army shirt on from when I was in the worldly military. I think with these type of videos, I'm just going to upload them. Lighting is terrible. Upload them to um, YouTube with the more in-depth videos. Um, I will upload them to the, the new platform. I haven't decided yet. I may end up doing both um, because I, I'm discerning that the Lord wants me to get back into more writing, get back into more writing, which is why when I released the last video I did on Kanye West, I had a little blog to go with it. Didn't plan on it, but um, you move and you speak and you do as the spirit leads you to, to speak. And some of you know that I was gonna write a book. Technically I have <laughs> written the book, I just haven't finished it. Um, and the reason for that is, it's, it's weird because I like to write, but I don't like to write. It's like, I like working on cars, but I don't like working on cars. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, I'd rather make a video than write a lot of times, even though I do a lot of writing because I was posting a lot on my Facebook. Some of you know, my posts on Facebook can be pretty lengthy and in depth. Um, I grew up writing. I remember I'll tell y'all a story before I get to the point of, of what I want to say. I was on Facebook one day and some, somebody reached out to me. As a matter of fact, it was two people, two, two, uh, well, it was one person. Then I was connected with the other person because of the first person that reached out and they were telling them about telling them, they were telling me about myself, my younger self and asking me questions about my, myself and saying, Hey, did you go here? I was like, yeah, did you do this? Yeah, did you go here and do it? Like, yeah. Like, you don't remember me? I'm like, uh, I think I do, but not really. And then she proceeded to tell me things about myself. And she was like, yeah, we was in so-and-so class and you used to, you used to write books, you used to write stories and everything. You, you still writing, you know? I'm like, I did. And then I started to remember because the brain, the brain doesn't forget anything. You may think that you have forgotten something. You know, we say, I forgot. Technically, we have, but it's still stored in the file cabinet. I've learned that, <laughs> that uh, we technically, we don't forget anything. Now, recalling something is, is different. That's why it's called recall. Well, to recall something, something had to be called in the first place. And the reason that we don't forget anything is because everything that we do in the body, rather you go into the judgment seat of Christ or the great white throne judgment, you will give an account of. So this is why we, we technically, we don't forget anything because everything is recorded and we will bear witness against ourselves. So how can you bear witness against yourself if what you've said and what you've done isn't stored in your DNA code memory because DNA is also um, you can you can write on it, which is you know what they're trying to do, what they are doing and everything with CRISPR and stuff like that. And so I'm speaking all this because I'm tying it all together. They want to rewrite the code because they want to rewrite out the curse that's in this flesh because anybody that is that's in this flesh that comes to this flesh born of a woman um, they're not under that curse and on the way out of that curse is through Jesus so this is why Christ and the Father and the Holy Spirit they are gathering all their enemies in one place this one place because they can't escape once they come in the flesh then they won't be able to escape because they won't be able to go through Christ because they won't be able to come to repentance. Now, as long as they're outside of their flesh, not being one of a woman, 
then they can never be held to that, that judgment, even though they already have judgment for certain things. But that's getting a little bit, a little bit deeper. There's a reason why everything is going down here. And it's like a, a fly that's attracted to the light. Earth is a, is a, is a very bright light in the, in the universe. And they are attracted to it because there's life here. People talk about life on other planets, but they don't even have an understanding of what life is. They say, oh, we found water on these different planets, so there must be signs of life. There's microorganisms, stuff like that. Yeah, but no. Yeah, but no. From that scientific understanding, yes. But from a, from a biblical understanding, absolutely not. So let's go deep with that real quick. The reason that they're finding water, signs of water on these planets is because space is water. These planets used to have water on them like we have here on Earth, rivers and stuff like that. That's, they, they've, act like they've made this great discovery when God has revealed this thing to me and many other, other people. Space is water, so therefore you most likely are going to find signs of water on these other planets. Now, just like, just like our body, you have cells within your body, just like your, your skin. You don't see the water in your skin, but it's there. You don't see the water in your skin. What do you think air is? Air is water. You're breathing water, oxygen. It's, it's, it's water. You don't, um, you don't see it, but it's there. Now, when your skin get dry or you, you know, you ashy, your, your back of your heels looking like uh, you've been walking in um, the Sahara Desert, um, <laughs> you know that, hey, you're lacking moisture. There's still water there because of what's on the inside, but you are, but surfacely there's a, a lack of, uh, of, of, of moisture in that area. So it's the same thing with the planets. The planets have, yeah, the outside shell, like the skin, and so they are dry. But underneath, there's still water there, or there's still signs that there, were, there was water there. Simple. When we allow ourselves to be led by the Spirit. Um, that's the best way that I can explain it right now. Just like you have the cells in your body, they are covered in water. You take them out, they will, they will be wet. If you dig deeper into these planets, I guarantee in most of them, you will find water. I guarantee it. And if they make it that far and they send their robots, which they already have, and they start probing, and they, oh, we found water in the core. Duh, you heard it here. <laughs> you heard it here. Praise the Lord. Um, and so, I forgot where I, was, where I was going with that, with that point. I think I just wanted to touch on that. Um, I hate when that happens. Yeah, so maybe it'll come back to me. But going to the point of the original intent of this video is you have to understand who you are in Christ. You have to understand who you are. And the Lord spoke this to my spirit probably about five, well, ten minutes ago, because we're nine minutes in. People of the world, they get caught up on money because they understand who they are. They understand who they are. When a person is is um, in the mindset of, I'm going to chase money, I'm going to chase this dream, which is not really a dream, but y'all know what I'm saying. It's a facade. When they're fully dedicated to that, it's because inwardly they have an understanding of who they are. So they pursue these things. They're honest with themselves. My dad is a, is a, is a Freemason. Some of you, you can go back where I interviewed my mom and we discussed that. 
where my mom is going into details of how I was being married to a Freemason. My dad tried to recruit me. You can say Satan was in him uh, um, trying to recruit me into Freemasonry, of course. If he watched this video, he would probably, uh, he might say differently, but knowing him, he, he would probably, he doesn't come out and say it, but he, but he does. Um, my dad's pretty straightforward when it, when it comes to, to the Bible and stuff like that. I can have a very interesting conversation with my, with my dad. And if you're watching this video, dad, you know, I love you and everything, you know, I'm going to keep it real. So I just want to make sure that I, that I say that, but, um, yeah, I, I was, I was recruited for that and I turned it down. My brother was also recruited and he turned it down by the grace of God. I believe I know when my brother is going to be used primarily, but that's yet to be seen. And that's something a little bit more personal that I'm not completely ready to reveal in regards to him because it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. But one of the reasons that I rejected becoming a Freemason was because I felt like that they weren't offering me anything that I couldn't achieve myself. They weren't offering me anything that I couldn't achieve myself or anything that I hadn't necessarily necessarily had. I tasted of the, the riches of, of the world and it, it tasted pretty good, you know, being in that mindset. So that was one of the main reasons that I, I turned it down ultimately because of, of God's grace. And the reason it was ultimately because of God's grace is because God knew who I was. He understood and understands who I am. He understands me better than I understand myself. So as time progressed, I started to have a better understanding of myself. I'm still having a better understanding of myself. Some of you are stunted in your growth because you refuse to be honest with yourself. You refuse to be, if you won't be honest with yourself, then you're not gonna be honest with God. That's just being real. If you're not gonna be honest with yourself, then why in the world would you be honest with God? Who you can't see. You can see yourself, you see yourself every day. You can close your eyes and, and, and see yourself. So, you can't even receive salvation if you are not honest with yourself. So I understand me because Christ has given me that understanding of who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing. Now, because I was in the world, now there's two choices. You see, people think, oh, you're a Christian. It was forced upon you, blase, blase. No, I was in the world. And even if I did have Christianity, I had a false form of Christianity. So now that I have come to the knowledge of the truth, there's a choice to make. There's a, a conscious choice to make, not force. Something that's forced is you don't have a choice. Each and every one of us, we have a choice. You can look at both sides. You can look at and, 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 and search and seek out different religions. Nobody's stopping you. Matter of fact, God is not even stopping you. Maybe God wants you to do that to show you and prove to you that he is real. That Jesus Christ of the Holy Bible is the only way. Not the Jesus of Islam. Not the Jesus of, 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 of Hinduism, Buddhism, Luciferianism. Not none of these other religions. But see, you're not going to hear pastors, you're not going to hear preachers say stuff like that. How can you know that Jesus is real, the Jesus that we're talking about is real, if you never compare him to the other Jesus? Hello. 
So God allows that to happen to for multiple reasons, to prove a point. Now, when a person does that and they come to the knowledge of the truth, because God is going to show them because he says that he wants every man to be saved. So he's working in every man, and every woman's life, allowing them to experience and do these different things to show that he is gracious and he still wants to save them. So at some point in their life, they come to the knowledge of the truth about the Lord Jesus Christ. And then they willfully and willingly reject his love, reject his grace, reject his mercy, knowing full well that he is God, knowing full well who Jesus is. The Freemasons, the Luciferians, they know who Jesus is. The scriptures tell us this. So let's not be ignorant of these different things. Let's walk in the wisdom. Let's walk in the, the knowledge. Let's walk in the understanding of the Lord Jesus Christ in, in, the, in his spirit. They know these things. They understand not only Jesus Christ, but they understand what they themselves are doing because they understand themselves. They have come to the realization of who they are. So they want what's promised to them. They want what's promised to them from their father, the devil. And he has given it to them in this world. Which is why you see these people prospering the way that they prosper. But on the flip side, which is the point where I want to get at to bring us all together. We also understand who we are. And because we understand who we are, we lay hold and we wait in patience of love, in patience of the spirit, in patience of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We wait in patience for what he has promised to us. And it isn't the riches of, these, of this world right here, right now. No, my brothers and sisters. Even my enemies that are listening to this video that are searching for answers that have come across this video. No, not the riches of the world right here, right now, the physical blessings. If God chooses to give you that, then he chooses to give you that. I was at the ATM machine as God is my witness at the ATM machine. And guess what? I saw some money. I was like, is that really money? Cause you know, sometimes somebody probably play a joke on you as God is my witness I went to the ATM machine saw some money in there it was a hundred dollars a hundred dollars oh you can best believe I was doing my little I said my praise name dun, 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 dun. cue the music <laughs> um so this shows you how God God works a hundred dollars in the ATM machine like what <laughs> what come on now Come on now. Um, now I use it towards, <laughs> towards some bills. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> you get money and then you end up paying bills. <laughs> but I'm still grateful. That's, you know, the extra $100 I didn't have to come up with. <laughs> um, but I understand I understand who I, who I am in Christ. And the riches that are promised to me right here and right now are spiritual, the spiritual riches. So because I completely understand who I am in Christ, I understand who I am as a person, as a man, as, as, a, as a father, as a pastor, as a preacher, or some of you like use it, use the term as a prophet, my track record speaks for itself. So if you don't like it, take it up with God because I said that. Um, I understand all, all these different things. I'm still learning and growing. Uh, different things in these different, as you could say, offices. But I understand overall. So because I understand overall, I'm not willing to be the person I used to be. Why would I want to be the person I used to be when I have an understanding of who I'm supposed to be. 
Why would I want to be the person I used to be when I have an understanding of the person I'm supposed to be? The person I'm supposed to be, I am that person right now. You're looking at the flesh, look past the flesh, look at the spirit. So because I understand who I'm supposed to be, I walk in that. I'm not settling for the riches of this world, this current world. I'm gonna wait till I get a crown on my head, a crown of gold on my head, and multiple crowns on my head. I'm gonna wait until I get my new glorified body where I ain't got a deal, you know what I'm saying? My beard waking, I wake up my beard looking all crazy, you know what I'm saying, dry. You know what I'm saying, I gotta I got wear glasses and stuff. Skin getting, you know what I'm saying, old, feet messed up, aches in your body you ain't never felt before. I'm going to wait to the, for the promises that the Lord Jesus Christ has promised me. I'm not settling for what they offering. Why? Because I understand who I am. I understand who I'm supposed to be. Settle for the riches of this world when the riches that, that God is going to give us, the physical riches, is going to surpass everything that they currently have. You think that the Joel Osteen's and the, and the Bill Gates and the Jeff Bezos, they got money? They ain't got no money. God going to take that. He going to give it to you double, maybe triple. Maybe, was it quadruple? What's, what's the number five? Five times, six times, seven. We don't know. Maybe 10 times as the Bible says. You been faithful over a little. I'm going to give you a lot. So, because I understand who I am in Christ, I'm not willing to settle for the riches of this world. But I cannot receive the physical riches, the kingdom of heaven to come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, without first receiving the spiritual riches, which are through the spirit, through the gospel, through repent and believe the gospel. So everybody that is, that is, that is falling into chasing money, their mindset is money, 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 money. I want to make some money too. But my focus isn't on, my whole being isn't on waking up making money. Excuse me. It's on being a light. It's on living the gospel, living what I preach, being a better person day by day learning the lessons that God wants me to learn while I'm here for him to continue the work that he has begun in me. And then as I go to work and I do these different things, you know, make some money to take care of my family, to, uh, to help others when I can. But my focus isn't money before it was. Why? Because I understand who I am in comparison to the old person. So I'm like, okay, do I want to be the old person or do I want to be the new person? Of course, obviously, I've chosen to be the new person, which is why I'm born again through the spirit. So you see all these people falling away because they're coming to an understanding of who they really are and they are accepting it. People of the flesh, that's who they are, who cannot overcome the world because they don't have Christ in them. The scriptures say, just as Christ has overcome the world, we overcome the world because Christ is in us. So, in conclusion, because I understand who I am, I understand who I'm supposed to be, I understand my purpose, I'm not settling for the riches of this world when the riches of, of God are greater. And we're talking about spiritual riches, spiritual peace, my God. And then he even says, he says, I go to prepare a place for you. In my father's house are many mansions. This ties in with the planets and stuff like that. Planets are houses. The houses. I know some of you, 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 you heard that in other places and everything. You may have heard it in the, in the Mormon religion and stuff like that. 
y'all know I don't get down with no Mormon religion. Mormons, they're, they're racist anyway. So uh, Mormons teach that uh, blacks were, were, are cursed with the uh, black skin. So why would I believe Mormon doctrine? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. I don't roll no Mormon doctrine. Now, there's certain aspects of what the Mormons say that they take and they twist it uh, because, I um, forgot his name, he got it from an angel, so that angel had knowledge and he twisted it. That's what they always do. He twisted it. That's, that's what they always do. So there's certain aspects of every religion that there are truths in there. You just have to be led by the Spirit to gauge what is true and what is not as true. Just like in the Mormon religion, they teach that Jesus and and and, and um, uh, Lucifer are brothers. Well, you might say people, oh, that, that's not true. Well, technically, when he was Lucifer, they were brothers. When he became Satan, they, they were no longer brothers. Explain that. I will. When Lucifer was Lucifer, he was created perfect, the scriptures say. That's why his name was Lucifer. He became Satan, which means the adversary. Jesus said, those that do the will of my father, that is my family. When he was Lucifer, before he sinned, he was doing the will of the father. So he was considered family. It's, this is, it's all about this whole thing that we're dealing with is family. It's a big old family war. It's a big old family war. The war of the families. Right? Who is my mother? Who are are my brothers who are my sisters those that do the will of my father so when he was lucifer they were brothers they were technically family christ considered lucifer well christ considered satan when he was lucifer family so he would have been his he, he would have called him his brother treat him as his brother love your neighbor as you love yourself love your brother as you love yourself am i my brother's keeper so they take that and they twist it. Oh, they're brothers, so that means that they are equal in power and authority. No. But when he was Lucifer, they were technically brothers because he was family. So that's the proper understanding of that. Simple. No reason to be confused. So when you hear me say certain things, and you're like, man, so-and-so, they say that the Mormons teach that, or the Hebrew Israelites, or the Jehovah's Witness, or whoever teaches that, you can't sit here and say, because I'm saying that I'm getting it from them. Because no, they got it from my God. And then they took it and twisted it. I'm just putting it back in the perspective it needs to be in, in righteousness. So you understand the greater mysteries of the word of God. As he said, that the church is a pillar and ground of the truth. And the things that we speak about, especially in regards to salvation, the angels uh, desire and desired to look into, and they still do. So I know right now there are uh, uh, angels, there are even bad, you know what I'm saying, bad angels, demons, devils. I'm not going to argue about demons and devils. They're all on the same team. <laughs> um that are watching this video right now getting certain things and then they're going to take it and then they're going to put it they're going to feed it to whoever or they're going to use it for their own ministry and use it to deceive people so are you willing to wait patiently because you understand who you are maybe you're willing to wait patiently for the riches of this world and for your father to step on the scene the antichrist to bless you with um with um the riches of the world by bowing down and worshiping him. And that's because you have an understanding of who you are and you're waiting patiently. But maybe uh, that's not what you want. You're looking for something deeper. And the answer that you're looking for is the Lord Jesus Christ, the true Lord Jesus Christ. So you have to have an understanding of who you are because even if you don't, eventually it's gonna be revealed who you are. And you will know, we will all know who everybody is the revelation of Jesus Christ. And when Christ is revealed because of his light, the darkness is revealed. And if the darkness is um, revealed, meaning that there's no more darkness because the light is shining through the darkness, then people can't hide, they can't hide. 
you clearly see them for who they are. So they don't want us to preach because they want their, they want, um, they want it to, to continue to be dark. So there can, so there can continue to be deception and they can masquerade themselves as Christ or ones who Christ has sent. So yeah, understand who you are. If you understand when, when you truly understand who you are, then you're not worried about all this other stuff. You're not worried about um, money and, and, and stuff like that. Yes, you deal with certain situations and everything, but your mindset isn't consumed by it. And for those of you who are born again, you understand it because back in the day when you were lost, you were consumed by the flesh. You were consumed by making money. You were consumed by, you know, whatever it is, uh, sex, drugs, uh, whatever. But now because you are in Christ, you are freed from those things. You, you were consumed by fear. Now, because you are in Christ, what fear? How can you be fearful of death if you've already died and been born again? Food for thought. So, um, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Get back to work. God bless each and every one of you in Jesus Christ's name. As always, stay focused for Jesus. And as you know, truth is not debated. It is declared.